Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today it is Sunday in January and it's freezing out here today, but we are local. We are at the barn at White Farm in Sturbridge and we have a nice couple tonight, uh, Nicole and Joseph. So I'm not doing the ceremony today and I'm actually not even doing cocktail. They have a violinist and she's going to be doing all the ceremony. She's got the mics, she's got everything, so she's doing it all. And then she just asked me to play a few tunes over at cocktail while she moves her stuff from the Alpheus room over to the barn to the main room and sets up and gets ready to play for cocktail hour. And I said, yeah, no problem at all. So I'll throw in a few tunes for her and uh, give her time to get reset up and then I guess relax and have a beer until uh, dinner time. As you may have seen, I recently got a case, a Pro X case for my Pioneer DDJ 1000 controller. Uh, I love this case. It was supposed to make everything so much easier because there was that that many fewer things I needed to plug in when first setting up. But as you can see, I went to go put it on my Cedar Link facade table, and it doesn't fit. It's just, you know, it's not high enough. So then if I put it on top of the top part of the case, you know, I stack them, it's way too high and it's just uncomfortable. So I decided to go without the facade. I'm going to have to figure out something else. I'm going to need a facade that isn't a table, I think. But I think it looked, still looks pretty good. And here is, of course, the setup. Pioneer DDJ-1000. Uh, we got the MacBook Pro running Virtual DJ. I have the Shure BLX wireless handheld Mackie eight channel mixer. And then over here, I of course have the Evolve 50s and I'm running this Sennheiser G4 transmitter, sending out the signal from this one. As you can see, I have it going in stereo into this speaker. And then I have it connecting wirelessly over to this receiver and feeding the signal into this Evolve 50. Now I've gotten smart and I've started printing up the names of our bride and groom and putting it on my computer at quick glance, I can just get their name. Because as you know, if you do enough of these things, everything starts murking and getting all messed up. Very confused with these names. They love each other very much and it's not very much of a surprise that they get wet and they're just so good for each other. I love them very much. You were a true friend to me when I needed you most as Nick and I prepared to move away from Boston. And though I feared we would lose touch, I am so, so grateful we never did. Really interesting, my friends are always his friends. And no matter where he went, he always brought me along. Like a coin that won't get tossed, rolling home to you. Someone to understand my ups and downs. 
So dancing was good. It was a very small crowd. I think there was only about 50 or 60 people. I think it was supposed to be closer to 75, but due to COVID and just whatever, a bunch of people weren't able to make it, including uh, a good portion of the bridal party, which was really too bad because the bride said that she was a dance teacher and that the groom was a good dancer too and that her bridesmaids were big partiers and big dancers and of course most of her bridesmaids weren't able to make it uh so i mean there was some energy you know really really nice people and we had a really good time but it was definitely a small crowd and not a ton of dancing which was surprising because there was a lot of older people there you know parents and and the like and that generation usually is pretty big dancers and i played a bunch of stuff that should have inspired them and just really it didn't it didn't do much so played mostly to the younger crowd but we had a good time <laughs> 